Hey everyone, welcome you all to BioSchool. This is Gayatri. In today's session, we are going to discuss about dioxic growth. Dioxic growth, this is a very important topic for those who are pursuing BSc, MSc and preparing for competitive examination in life science. So let's go ahead and discuss in details about dioxic growth. So before going into dioxic growth, let's have a look on bacterial growth curve. So how can we know the bacterial growth rate? That we can know by plotting a graph of number of life cells of bacteria over a period of time. Okay, that represents the bacterial growth curve. In the bacterial growth curve, we will observe four phases. The first phase is known as the lag phase. In the lag phase, though the bacteria are metabolically active, but they do not divide. In this phase, they are trying to adjust to the new environment or, in, or to the culture media. Okay, they are preparing themselves. At that time, they do not divide. After the lag phase, then the bacteria, they grow exponentially or logarithmically because of the presence of lots of nutrient in the culture media and also the space. This phase is known as the exponential phase. Also, it is called as the log phase, right? Just after the exponential growth phase, because of the overcrowded population of bacteria and lack of nutrients, then the growth phase, it will start to fall. Okay, then it will reach stationary phase. In the stationary phase, the number of live cell is equal to the number of dead cells. Okay, we can say that number of dying cell, it is equal to the number of dividing cell. And here you can see in the stationary phase, a flat line is formed which is parallel to the x-axis right just after the stationary phase the death rate of bacteria it will increase why because now there is a lack of nutrient also the lack of space and more toxins are produced okay and here one important point is that here the bacteria it uses only one carbon source okay now we'll see the dioxic growth Di, di means double, that means here the bacteria in dioxic growth, they use two carbon sources. How many carbon sources? That is the two carbon sources, they are used by the bacteria in dioxic growth. So, because of the use of two carbon sources in dioxic growth, you will observe biphasic exponential growth. One exponential growth for use of one carbon source and another one for the use of another carbon source and in between the two exponential growth you will observe a lag phase a lag phase see this is the dioxic growth curve of bacteria first the bacteria it will use one carbon source that is the glucose because the, uh, if in the media glucose is present then e coli it will first use the glucose as it is the preferred nutrient for the E. coli and it will consume the preferred source of the carbon at a faster rate okay then after there is a lag period during that time the bacteria it synthesizes the enzyme to metabolize the second carbon source so here the second carbon source it is the lactose okay so here you can observe when the bacteria is start to use the fast carbon source or the preferred carbon source at a faster rate then one exponential phase formed then after a lag phase during the lag phase it synthesized the enzyme which was required for the catabolism of the second carbon source okay then in, it start to utilize the second carbon source that is the lactose thereby here it also produced the second exponential phase so in dioxic growth the bacteria it uses the two carbon sources and it produces the two exponential phase which is intermitted by a lag phase this is also called as the glucose effect okay this one is very important remember it is also known as the glucose effect why it is called the glucose effect because here the ability of the glucose to inhibit the use of another carbon source okay here the glucose it inhibits the use of another carbon source by the bacteria okay if in the media glucose is present then first the glucose it will be consumed by the bacteria and it inhibits the use of another carbon source that's why it is also known as the glucose effect or carbon catabolite repression or ccr so now we'll compare the bacterial growth curve with dioxic growth curve in bacterial growth curve they use only one carbon source 
वेर इज इन डाई ऑब्जिक ग्रोथ कर्व दे यूज द टू कार्बन सोर्सेस राइट इन बैक्टेरियल ग्रोथ कर्व यू विल ऑब्जर्व ओनली वन एक्सपोन्सियल फेज वेर इज इन द डाई ऑब्जिक ग्रोथ कर्व यू विल ऑब्जर्व टू एक्सपोन्सियल फेज विच इज इंटरमीडिएट बाय ए लैग फेज इन द डाई ऑब्जिक ग्रोथ कर्व द इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट इज दैट इफ इन द मीडिया ग्लूकोज इज प्रेजेंट देन द फास्ट इट विल यूटिलाइज द ग्लूकोज देन इट विल गो फॉर द अनदर कार्बन सोर्स राइट Now we'll see some previous year CSR net questions. First question is E. coli proliferate faster on glucose, okay? Then it does on lactose because lactose is here. The question is the E. coli it grow faster in glucose because it will first consume the glucose if it is present in the media. Then after the consumption of glucose, it will start to use the another source that is the lactose because lactose here it is. taken up more slowly than glucose right so the correct answer is option 1 that is lactose is taken up more slowly than glucose the next question e coli was grown in three different experimental conditions in one it was grown in a medium containing glucose as a carbon source okay in one medium the carbon source is glucose in second medium there are presence of two carbon sources one is glucose and another one is galactose and in third was infected with a phase so match the curves shown below to the treatment so see the graph look at the p curve in the p curve you will observe two exponential phase which is intermitted by a lag phase over here right that means the p curve it represents the dioxic growth curve right so if it is a dioxic growth curve that means it utilizes the two carbon sources two carbon sources that is the glucose and galactose p curve it represents the second media that contains both the glucose and galactose look at the curve q the q curve it represents the bacterial growth curve that means it utilizes the only one carbon source so it represents the medium or the fast media that contains the only glucose as a carbon source so q it represents the bacterial growth curve where only one carbon source is utilized that is the glucose and now comes to the r curve what you observed here here the growth curve is is suddenly declined that means it is infected with a phase or there is a presence of toxic substances right so r curve it represents the curve that is infected by a phase so let's see the option first we will see the p it is the dioxic growth that is it utilizes as the glucose and galactose option a it is wrong option c is also wrong option d is also wrong option b is the correct answer because p it is grown in glucose and galactose also q it is grown in glucose and r it is infected with phase if you know the how the dioxic growth curve it looks like then you can easily solve this question and this question it carries four marks So thank you so much for watching this video hope now you have a idea about what is dioxic growth curve and in the dioxic growth curve the preferred carbon source is glucose which is consumed fast by the bacteria then it will consume the second carbon source and it will produce a growth curve where there is a presence of two exponential phase intermitted by a lag phase if you like this video then please do share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel still if you have any confusion regarding the dioxic growth then please put a comment in the comment section down below i'll get back to you as soon as possible bye bye see you in my next video